Welcome to another edition of uh, Vicarious Travels. This time I shall take you to Ice Fjords in Illidusad in Greenland. I visited uh, Illulisat in Greenland, that's Greenland, uh, to see the icebergs breaking off, uh, the huge icebergs, which one of them sunk the Titanic actually came from, uh, most probably came from Greenland area. So I wanted to see that. So um, I visited Greenland, Illulisat, so that is Illulisat, and uh, that is Iceland, to give you an overview, and uh, that's Europe. That's Canada. And uh, if you zoom it, we come into view. So we are watching a uh, trip by the boat, uh, took us into this uh, fjord area. So if we zoom it further, you can see the fjord coming into view and so we were that's a little sad so we went through this area in, into this area in among the icebergs uh, and uh, so that that's the area we were in looking for the whales and we got a bit lucky uh, as the whales were actually lazing around and they didn't care very much about us being there Huskies, the poor huskies, uh, looked very gloomy and very bored when they sent us off into the bay. So it, it is uh, about 10 minutes um, boat ride into the bay um, where you, you see all the icebergs collected together. Basically all these icebergs are coming from uh, Kanjia Fjord, uh, which is where the uh, the fastest glacier called Simmerut Klesukuk, uh, they call it, uh, breaks off their icebergs. And uh, the humongous icebergs get broken off, as I just mentioned earlier in the, in the video. And uh, they all end up in the bay. So, this is a boat ride among the uh, icebergs in the evening. This is a small group of whales uh, which were there in the bay and they were kind of lazing around and pacing about, going backwards and forwards, blowing air into the, into the, you know, uh, into the atmosphere and calling, and you could hear the whale noise and uh, it was quite uh, enjoyable to watch them and, and it's very relaxing and uh, yeah, they put up a good show for us on the day.
next day we got even more luckier with this particular rail we were going up north to see uh, icebergs calving which is a place called Ikwi glaciers which is 80 kilometers from Ilulissat and we came across this lone rail so these rails are quite elusive and they hop to get close by to capture some good shots and we were quite lucky this time around and the the weather was very good we had beautiful blue sky and blue waters and a kind of a kind of a pale background uh, with the with the pale rocks at, uh, behind so we managed to capture this particular one uh, well uh, this was kind of uh, lazing around and just i didn't didn't bother too much about our boat being close by so i just kept following and following until uh, i managed to capture the tails uh, the whale actually was helping me really in one sense it was it was going uh, on the right side with the side profile on me and uh, it as if it, it knew that what i was looking for at the very end uh, it turned away from me and i could see the tail very well and that's when i got this final shots of tail with water flowing over it like a like a like like a waterfalls um, and it was it's, it's such a beautiful thing you know to capture and uh, I, i it was i was thrilled by it and uh, yeah these are the shots i hope you guys enjoy it this is the actual video uh, which took about two or three minutes of tracking the whale um, as it went along and uh, then i kind of edit, edited it and put it back in, in short form here yeah. someone cancelled their flight on the last minute so i had a chance to get on this flight uh, this is a lady pilot who took us up uh, to see the icebergs and if you're lucky you may end up seeing some whales as well and on um, that day we were really really lucky to capture these whales uh, there are two or three of them in the bay and um, uh, so i i couldn't get many photographs but we were able to see see for for our satisfaction and uh, the icebergs all around are so beautiful and keeps you occupied with the photographs they're really beautiful these icebergs are humongous in size um, and then you can get the uh, the size by comparing this small boat which is quite a big boat uh, it's been dwarfed by this icebergs 